everybody welcome to easy tutorials in this lecture series we are going to analyze the time complexity for selection sort using iterative analysis method so what is selection sort you are having a set of uh, elements in an array you will be selecting the minimum element so which is minimum using a uh, we have already seen uh, in the last lecture series finding the minimum element or finding the maximum element using the same logic you will be finding the minimum element in the array then you will be placing that in the you will be swapping that minimum element with the zeroth element then the second minimum will be swapped with the first element then third minimum will be swapped with the next minimum element will be swapped and it will be placed in the third position likewise every time you will be searching the minimum element and you will be placing it so we are not going to concentrate on algorithm that we are having it in a separate video lecture series you can watch that now we are going to uh, perform only the analysis of the selection sort so analysis of selection sort is for i is equal to 0 n minus 2 minimum uh, you are storing the ith element ith index in the minimum so minimum is acting as the index so for j is equal to i plus 1 till n minus 1 you are comparing the value in the minimum value in an array indexed by the minimum and the jth element so if jth element is lesser than the minimal element you are changing the minimum index then you are making a swap between ith element and the minimal element so this is the algorithm we are not concentrating detailedly we are going to analyze this algorithm so uh, now analysis we have to form summation equation innermost uh, all these steps can be considered to be of one operation set so we are putting one so here the innermost loop we are putting summation it starts from i plus 1 to n minus 1 so j is equal to i plus 1 to n minus 1 then outermost loop we are putting outermost summation it starts from 0 to n minus 2 so it's okay uh, now you are going to solve this equation so summation i is equal to 0 n minus 1 summation j is equal to i plus 1 n minus 1 to 1 so here you are having 1 so the formula is upper bound minus lower bound plus 1 so n minus 1 minus i plus 1 plus 1 so you are removing the bracket and you are putting minus inside so n minus 1 will be as such minus i minus 1 plus 1 so now we can solve uh, uh, cancel this minus 1 and plus 1 so we are getting n minus 1 minus i i can split it into two summation equation summation n minus 1 minus summation i so why i am splitting this because for this i have separate formula and for this i have separate formula it will be tough if i handle in a single equation so i am splitting so n minus 1 in whatever uh, terms are in terms of n inside summation you can take it outside so n minus 1 into summation of 1 here minus summation of i you are having as such for this the formula is upper limit minus lower limit plus 1 so n minus 2 minus 0 plus 1 here i the formula is n into n plus 1 by 2 here instead of n you are having n minus 2 so n minus 2 into n minus 2 plus 1 by 2 I am solving here minus 2 plus 1 gives you minus 1 so n minus 1 you are having out this part is simplified as n minus 1 so this part n minus 2 plus 1 so that can be written as n minus 1 by 2 in both the terms n minus 1 is common I am taking that outside so n minus 1 into n minus 1 minus n minus 2 by 2 I am taking LCM so 2n minus 2 I am uh, multiplying this minus inside this so minus n minus into minus plus 2 divided by 2 since I have taken LCM I can have a common division symbol by 2 so minus 2 and plus 2 gets cancelled so we are having 2n minus n 2n minus n is n so n outer I am having n minus 1 so n minus 1 into n by 2 so this is n square minus n by 2 this belongs to the efficiency class n square because I can neglect this 2 since it is 1 by 2 since it is a constant so n square minus n I am taking the polynomial with highest degree that is n square so this solution belongs to the efficiency class n square big O of n square so selection sort worst case analysis is n square uh, in next lecture series we will be seeing some more examples stay tuned to 
video uh, easy tutorials thank you <laughs>